You're flying over the city like an action movie character. You push some button and speed up so you reach Mars in a matter of seconds. Then you land back in your fancy mansion. The next moment, your alarm goes off. You wake up and forget that cool dream forever. The brain prevents you from remembering your dreams for your own good. You remember the past structurally, logically, and in a certain order. Dreams are chaotic, full of symbolism and strange images. You forget 90% of it to not overload your brain. Plus, your own thoughts of the coming day kick out the dream out of your memory bank. If you bite your lips often, it might be a psychological thing. This bad habit appears with stress and anxiety. Your brain gives your body an order to bite lips so that you think less about problems and calm down. Another possible reason is that your lips are chapped because of the cold. Your brain tells you to bite them to refresh them, but in the end, you get the opposite effect. It even hurts to look at your lips. You often wake up before the alarm clock to save yourself from extra stress. That's exactly what the sound of an alarm is to your body, so your brain releases a protein that's responsible for wakefulness. Even though most humans can't stand being tickled, they react to it with laughter. It's because the most ticklish areas, the armpits and stomach, cover vital organs and arteries and are super sensitive. So you get a mix of pleasure since all those nerves are being stimulated and fear for your important innards. You try to guard these areas, laugh until you cry and beg the tickler to please stop. When you tickle yourself, the body sends the it's all good signal to the brain. You get the visible sweat marks at the worst possible moments, during a speech, on a date or at a job interview. Your body releases sweat in response to any danger or stress trying to protect you. Wet skin would help you get out of a headlock centuries ago. And even earlier, sweaty palms used to cling to tree branches better. You get headaches or migraines when the weather changes because that's your body telling you to find a more comfortable environment. When the weather changes, the air pressure changes. Your blood vessels and nerves feel this difference in pressure and react. They expand, get smaller or spasm. Ideally, these vessels are elastic and quickly recover when the weather changes drastically. But for some reason, their vessels and nerves can't keep up, so you get a pressure difference between the inside of your body and the outside. Thousands of years of evolution haven't been enough for your brain to adapt to any other type of movements rather than walking and running. That's why you still get car sick. When you're sitting in a car, your muscles are relaxed. It means there are no signs that movement is occurring. Yet, the inner ear which controls the balance feels that there is movement. Your brain decided it must have been poisoned and gives you nausea. When you're sunbathing, your skin gets darker and your hair gets lighter. The sun emits ultraviolet rays that are harmful to your body. To defend itself, your skin starts producing a special pigment, melanin. It steps forward and takes a hit absorbing UV light. With more and more pigment being produced, the skin gets darker. Your hair has small reserves of melanin, but it can't produce it like your skin can. So the sun quickly burns all the melanin reserves and the hair loses some color. The ringing in your ear is actually a false signal sent to your brain. The inner part of your ear is covered in thousands of tiny hair cells that vibrate when they come in contact with a sound wave. These vibrations create a nerve impulse that's sent to the brain. The brain processes the signal and you hear sounds. If you're a fan of loud music, those nerve cells can get damaged. Over time, they stop working efficiently and can send false signals to the brain, even without sound waves. Hiccups happen when something irritates your diaphragm. It makes you suddenly get air into your throat where it hits your voice box. Your vocal cords close quickly, making the hick sound. It can happen when you're nervous or stressed, or ate too much and too quickly. One of the ways to stop it is bending over in a chair. The guy who couldn't stop hiccups for 68 years in a row probably didn't know that secret. A human has on average 120,000 hairs on their head. Natural blondes have way more than that because it's finer and the scalp can fit more of it. Female hair is twice as soft as male hair. The latter is twice as large in diameter. You don't just blink to keep your eyes moist.
It's like a micro nap and a way to sharpen attention. It also protects your eye by closing it to keep dust out, bright light, and objects that definitely don't belong there. You blink somewhere between 5 and 7 million times a year. All those times put together make you spend 10% of the time when you're awake with your eyes closed. Wisdom teeth are useless. They are a souvenir from your ancestors that lived hundreds of thousands of years ago. They use them to chew on rough food like leaves, roots, and meats. Your thumbs have their own pulse because there are big arteries inside them. That's why you can't feel your pulse in the neck with your thumb. Your eye has over 2 million working parts and 1 million nerve fibers connected to the brain. Your two eyes look at things from a slightly different angle. The brain puts those two images together in a fraction of a second. It has a lot of work to do, since your eyes alone process around 36,000 bits of information per hour. You often toss and turn and can't sleep well in a new place because a half of your brain stays awake. Thanks to that, you'll be able to quickly get up if you might have to protect yourself from something or someone. You can't breathe and swallow at once. When you're breathing, the pipe leading to your stomach closes. When you swallow, the gateway to your lungs temporarily shuts down. You'll never sneeze with your eyes open. You shut the eyelids automatically to protect your eyes from all those nasty things jumping out of the nose. You can't sneeze when you're sleeping either. That's because the nerve cells in your nose that activate sneezing are sleeping too. You physically see your nose, but the brain chooses to ignore it. Otherwise, it would stand in the way of your vision. Plus, it would be out of focus anyway. Your fingers get wrinkled after a bath to give you a better grip of things covered in water. It's like treads on car tires. A long time ago, your ancestors used this feature a lot. You don't like the sound of your own voice on recording because it's always different from what it sounds to you. Plus, you don't have control over it and that makes you uncomfortable. A human can survive and feel well with just one kidney because each of them has 1.5 million working units called nephrons. You really only need 300,000 nephrons. You can also live just fine without your appendix, stomach, or one lung. Your liver is the only essential internal organ that has a superpower of fully regenerating itself. When someone donates more than half of it, the liver grows back to the original size in about two weeks. A human mouth alone is home to over 700 different types of bacteria. There are more of them in there than there are people on the entire planet. That's a good reason to brush your teeth.